Hello and welcome to Poland. My name is Paweł and this is the first episode of 3P. We are in Kraków, the former capital of Poland, the main square, the best known place for, from guidebooks, what was the biggest square built in the medieval Europe. And the most popular meeting spot, Adam Mickiewicz statue, uh, the great Polish poet from 1800s. But if you like to meet here at 6 p.m., it's very hard to find each other. So it's better to be more accurate if you want to meet from his nose, hand, or maybe backside. Not known from guidebooks, not known by visitors, the most local meeting spot is a collecting box where tourists put some small money uh, to support restoration of monuments of Kraków. And if you look at coins, a variety of those coins, you can say where they came from. And in this channel I want to give you some tips how to behave li more like a local, not to be recognized only as a tourist. Being a young student in Kraków, you should never go across the cloth hall. You have to walk around it. Why? Because you won't pass your exams. And in Poland there are a lot of superstitions and traditions. And especially here in Kraków we are saying that if uh, anything happened once, it's already a tradition and you have to follow it. Here you will find also a history of Poland, what is over 1000 years long. The history of wars, battles, death, as well as glory, power, prosperity. On the map of Europe, Poland was all the time in between of Germany and Russia. What makes our history very interesting, but also very complicated. And even nowadays, being the most eastern country of European Union, we are in a very difficult political position. I am a local guide in the city of Kraków. I'm working for some museums here, and I'm also a mountain guide. And even if Poland seems to be very flat, there are beautiful mountains to south from here. And I want to take you there, because there is much more to see in Poland than only big cities. And outside of them you can find many UNESCO sites. Also you can find a lot of wild nature. In Poland there are over 20 national parks where you can find many wild animals and among them the biggest European animal, a bison. And the bison you can meet in different parts of our country. Poland is almost homogenic. Probably you've heard that it's one of the most Catholic countries in the world. And it's true, almost 100% of people in Poland are Catholic. But it was never like that. In the history, it was a mix of different cultures and religions. Central part of Poland, mostly Catholic. Then from the East, Orthodox. From Southwest, Protestant, Judaism. And even small Muslim population living in northern parts of our country from 1600s until today. And a synagogue like here is an evidence of the Jewish presence in the modern time. Some of them are used for everyday services. If you've never been to Poland you are always welcomed and on my channel you will find some good tips for your visit. Maybe you have your ancestors from Poland, maybe family or friends from here and I hope following this channel you will understand them better and the Polish word for today is Polska P-O-L-S-K-A what in Polish means Poland thank you for watching and in a comment leave me an information if you ever been to Poland please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications and see you in the next episode